Hello, it's Salim again. I must confess to finding these English historians hard to understand. The UK is famous for the stand it took in World War II. Yet now we witness one British historian who has published academic works describing British politicians as ruthless cosmopolitans. Ruthless cosmopolitan was a pejorative Soviet epithet which referred mostly to Jewish intellectuals as an accusation of their lack of allegiance to the Soviet Union, especially during the anti-Semitic campaign of 1948 to 1953. Yet we see a historian who openly identifies as a Zionist using this ugly term to stoke ethnic divisions. It all seems very odd and confusing. Perhaps this historian has forgotten the Refuseniks. If so, let me remind him about them. Refusenik was an unofficial term for individuals, typically, but not exclusively, Soviet Jews who were denied permission to emigrate, primarily to Israel, by the authorities of the Soviet Union and other countries of the Soviet bloc. The term refusenik is derived from the refusal handed down to a prospective emigrant from the Soviet authorities. In addition to the Jews, broader categories included other ethnicities, such as vulgar Germans attempting to leave for Germany, Armenians wanting to join their diaspora, and Greeks forcibly removed by Stalin from Crimea and other southern lands to Siberia. Members of persecuted religious groups, such as the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, Baptists and other Protestant groups, Jehovah's Witnesses, and Russian Mennonites. It would seem most strange to me that a supporter of Israel would use such terms, especially when he aims them at a woman whose husband is Jewish.